And that's her daughter, my mother, when she was less than a year old. 呢一個係誒佢嘅女，即係我媽媽一歲未夠一歲嘅時候。So when Huda, my mother, was one year old, the British came with their army, pushed the Ottoman Turks out of the country, and they became the new lords of Palestine. 當我媽媽一歲嘅時候咧，誒英國人嚟到啦，趕走呢一個奧誒奧圖曼帝國嘅人。咁呢個地方就誒有一個新嘅紀元開始啦。This is Jaffa Gate in Jerusalem。呢個耶路撒冷嘅亞法門。And uh, uh, General Allenby, the British, is reading a document saying that Jerusalem and all of Palestine is under the British mandate。咁呢一個日子就係呢一個英國嘅將軍 Allenby 咧，就去嗰度宣佈話咧，從此呢個巴勒斯坦係喺英國統治之下。This is Palestine under the British mandate。呢個係英國統治嘅時候嘅巴勒斯坦。The name of the country was Palestine。嗰個地方係叫做巴勒斯坦嘅。And the people were who lived there were called Palestinians。將嗰啲叫咩啊？就叫巴勒斯坦人啦。They were Palestinian Arabs。嗰啲係巴勒斯坦嘅阿拉伯人。Who were Muslims or Christians？ 佢哋係基督徒或者阿拉伯人，或者係穆斯林，誒或者係誒猶太人。But at that time, everybody called themselves Palestinian。嗰陣時無論咩人咧，佢哋都自己叫做巴勒斯坦人。Here is my mother in her teenage years. She is studying at a Christian hospital in Nazareth. 咁啊，我媽媽係十幾歲嘅時候喺拿撒勒一個嘅基督教嘅醫院度學嘢。But something happened which caused her to forget about her books. 咁啊，但係咧有啲事發發生啦，所以佢冇再讀書啦。She found this young man and they got married. 認識咗一個青年人，結咗婚。And this is my father with my oldest brother. 咁啊，呢一個係我爸爸同埋我最大嘅哥哥。We lived in that neighborhood until 1948. 我哋住喺個地方一路直到一九四八年。We call it Al Nakba. 啊，一九四八年發生嘅事，我哋叫佢做。Al Nakba means the catastrophe. 啊，我哋叫做 Al Nakba 就係咧個大災難。For all Palestinians. 對於全部嘅巴勒斯坦人。Whether they are Muslims or Christians. 無論佢係穆斯林或者基督徒。1948 was a catastrophe. 一九四八年係一個大災難。In my case, my father was shot and killed in 1948. 在我嘅情況，一九四八年係我爸爸中槍死咗。佢係一個普通嘅平民。Leaving my mother with seven children. 咁啊，剩翻我媽媽同埋七個細路哥。The youngest was six months old. 最細嘅六個月大。And the oldest was one of my brothers who was eleven years old. 最大嘅哥哥係十一歲。Not only this, but few days after my father was killed, we were pushed out of our Homeland. 唔單止係咁樣，我爸爸死咗幾日之後咧，我全家人係被趕走離開我間屋企。Refugees. 我哋就變變咗難民。Not only us, but about eight hundred thousand Palestinians became refugees. 約莫唔單我哋約莫有八十萬嘅巴勒斯坦人係變咗難民。So why did this happen? 點解會咁樣咧 ？What are the roots of the Arab-Israeli conflict? 以巴衝突個根源係乜嘢咧 ？Here I give you a perspective. 咁呢個我講一個我嘅睇法俾大家聽。This is how we think about it. 呢個係我哋係咁樣睇嘅。It started with the birth of Zionism. 呢一個係石安主義嘅開始。Zionism started in Europe, not in Palestine. 石安主義嘅開始係以誒歐洲開始嘅，唔係巴勒斯坦開始嘅。A man called Theodore Herzl wrote a book called The Judenstaat. 有個人佢嘅名叫 Herzl， 佢寫咗本書叫做誒誒猶太國。Which means the Jewish state. 猶太國呢本書。And Herzl thought the Jews who are persecuted in Europe because of anti-Semitism need to be gathered together in a country and make create a Jewish homeland. 佢嘅睇法就係話嗰啲誒喺歐洲因為反閃族主義受苦嘅呢啲猶太人需要有一個自己嘅地方。Herzl was not a religious Jew. 誒 ，Herzl 唔係一個係好有宗教嘅一個猶太人嚟。He did not care where that homeland would be。佢亦都唔係太過在乎呢個嘅誒家園究竟應該係咩地方。But some of the religious Jews told him, if we have to have any state, any homeland, it have to be in Palestine。但係有一啲其他更加係比較即係有宗教性嘅嗰啲嘅猶太人就話一定要去巴勒斯坦先得。So he created the Zionist movement。所以佢就開始咗呢一個嘅石安運動。And the goal of the Zionist movement in Europe was to create a homeland for the Jews in Palestine. So, this Zionist movement in Europe started. This goal, the objective, the goal, was to create a homeland for the Jews in Palestine. The Zionists came up with a propaganda. So, they had a propaganda slogan. This was a homeland without a people for a people without a people. This was a homeland without a people for a people without a people. This was a homeland without a people. Which means Palestine is a land; it doesn't have people, and the Jewish people are scattered around the world. They don't have a land. Let's put them together. 嘅意思就話啊，巴勒斯坦係一個冇人住嘅地方，而猶太人係一個冇國家、冇地方嘅人民，咁啊啱啱好啦。What was wrong about this? 咁呢句話有咩問題咧？錯在咩地方咧 
Yes, the land had people in it. 就呢個地方並不是冇人住嘅地方。Then the Zionists appeal to Christians. 咁啊，嗰啲嘅石安主義者就去揾啲基督徒。Who read their Bible? 呢啲係讀聖經嘅基督徒。And who thought that there's a future for the Jewish state in the Holy Land? 咁佢哋亦都係認為咧，係誒猶太人係應該翻翻呢一個聖地嗰度。One of them was Reverend William Hacker。咁其中一個好出名嘅就 William Hacker。And he wrote a book called the Restoration of the Jews to Palestine according to the Prophets。咁佢寫咗嗰本書啦，英文書咧，我唔使讀啦。The Restoration。係啦，誒誒猶太人復恢復翻翻去個巴勒斯坦。按照住聖經嘅先先知所講 ，You know this man was convinced that Herzl was, you know, sent by God to fulfill biblical prophecy。咁呢一個嘅 Herzl， 啊 ，sorry， 呢個誒牧師，呢個 Hitler 嘅牧師咧，認為咧 Herzl 係上帝所派嚟咧，係到完成上帝嘅啟示嘅預言嘅一個嘅人嚟㗎。But actually, Herzl never claimed to have any prophetic gifts。但係 Herzl 從來自己就從來都唔敢話自己有咩咁樣嘅先知嘅嘢。Then the Zionists appeal to the British government. 咁然之後呢一啲嘅社會主義者亦都去揾英國嘅誒人啦。And the British government came up with this declaration. 英國政府有個咁樣嘅宣告。We call it the declare the Belfour Declaration. 呢一個叫 Belfour Declaration. And it says His Majesty's government, that's the British government, view with favour the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people. 咁呢個嘅講法就係話咧，係即係英皇政嘅政府咧，係願意係幫助巴勒斯坦。誒、uh, 幫幫助猶太人喺巴勒斯坦呢一度咧，係建造一個佢哋嘅家園。Jews who were persecuted throughout Europe took this as their green light to move out of Europe and come to Palestine。咁喺誒歐洲好多地方嘅猶太人就將呢一個當為一個嘅綠燈，讓佢哋可以搬翻去誒巴勒斯坦。Just look at this number, seven hundred thousand. There were seven hundred thousand Palestinians living in Palestine during that time. 當時當時其實喺誒呢一個阿拉伯嗰度咧，對，你喺巴勒斯坦係有七。十萬嘅阿拉伯人住緊喺度。In 1919, the Zionists drew this map and they presented to the British and they said, "This is what we want: a Jewish state on this land." 一九一七年嘅時候，呢啲石安主義者咧係有個咁嘅地圖咧，交俾英國嘅政府，話呢一個就係我哋希望得到嘅地方，俾我哋做我哋嘅家園。The British said, "Sorry, you are a small fraction of the population. We cannot." 咁啊，英國政府話唔得喎，你哋咁人口咁少，唔可以俾咁多地方你。But anyway, encouraged by the Belfort Declaration, Jews started coming from all over Europe into the Holy Land and setting up Jewish settlements. 但係無論如何，因為呢一個 Belfort Declaration 嘅資嘅鼓勵咧，好多猶太人從英國誒歐洲唔同地方都搬翻嚟巴勒斯坦，開始建立一啲嘅誒佢哋住居住嘅地方。By 1936, the Palestinians were afraid that they are losing their country. 咁啊，一九三六年 ，twenty six。So they protested to the British, and the British came up with a partition of Palestine in 1937. 咁於是乎咧，佢就去同英國政府講，英國就對去去請願咁樣。英國政府咧就俾咗一個嘅建議，將呢個地方分做兩半。The British decided to give the yellow area to the Jewish folk, the red area to the Palestinians, and the green zone would stay in the hands of the British. 大家睇到英國政府就建議誒上面黃色嗰啲就俾猶太人建立嗰個國家，紅色嗰啲俾阿拉伯人建立國家，誒綠色嗰部分咧留翻俾英國政府自己直接處理。Well, the Palestinians did not like it. They thought this is our country; it should not be divided. The Jews did not like it. They said this is not enough for us. We need the whole country and part of Transjordan. 啊，大家都唔贊成啦。大家都覺得唔夠唔得，即係巴勒斯坦覺得本嚟我哋做乜要俾人咧？以色列猶太人就覺得唔夠地方俾我哋。All right. Um. Then the British got sick and tired of the problem. They gave it to the United Nations. 咁啊，但係咧，英國人咧，整下整下，越嚟越覺得冇心機搞啦，係太辛苦啦。於是將個事情交俾巴誒俾聯合國。Palestine in 1947. 呢個一九四七年嘅時候，聯合國嗰度提出嚟嘅分割嗰個地方嘅建議。The British decided the areas in the yellow should become a Jewish state. 咁呢個係聯合國嘅建議，就話咧黃色嗰部分俾猶太人起做一個國家。All the other areas will become a Palestinian state. 其他嘅國家咧就係做一個巴勒斯坦人嘅國家。With the exception of the green zone. This will be with the United Nations. 中間有少少綠色嗰部分咧，就係俾聯合國就主要係包括咗耶路撒冷同埋巴黎行嘅地方。Well, the Palestinians did not like it. 巴勒斯坦都係唔中意啊。The Jewish people accepted it. 但係猶太人就要啦 ，OK 啦。
Why did the Palestinians not like it? I'll tell you in the next slide. All right, but what's the difference in color? Well, when the Palestinians did not like it and the Jews liked it, it created a conflict. That conflict started the first Arab-Israeli war in 1948. In the war, Israel took the solid red from the Palestinians. It was not allotted to it by the United Nations. What was left for the Palestinians is the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. Now here is why the Palestinians rejected the 1947 resolution. Okay, Palestinians own approximately 87.5% of Palestine, while Jews own 6.6% of the total land mass. The remaining 5.9% was state land as classified under the British mandate. So who owned the most of the country? 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 All of these dots are Palestinian towns or villages that were totally destroyed or de demolished or depopulated in 1948. To totally demolish the town. To depopulate, the Israeli army will surround the Palestinian village from three sides and they leave one side open. And they give the people an ultimatum. You have 15 minutes to leave your town. If you don't, we'll destroy it anyway. So out of fear, the people uh, left uh, into Lebanon, into Syria, into the West Bank, into Jordan, or into the Gaza Strip and Egypt. 800,000 Palestinians became refugees that year. 